let's talk about the Delegation Planner. This is an amazing tool that's going to help you to identify, document, and delegate the responsibilities of everyone on your team. By getting a clear view of all of the responsibilities and how much time those are taking, this gives you a better idea of how to organize things within your organization. So, let's take a look at this. Before I jump into the actual delegation planner, I'm going to pop over to the groups page. The reason why I'm doing that is that the groups page is inseparably tied to the delegation planner. So again, as we've gone over previously, groups are a way for you to organize people and content together to assign content intentionally. Well, I've got different groups in here. I'm going to find my sales rep group here, right? Here we go. There's my sales rep group. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Just so you can see, I've got this one fleshed out with a description. I've got the responsibilities here as well. And this is what I want to highlight really quickly here. These responsibilities are what's tied directly to the delegation planner. We're going to be able to flesh these out further. We're going to be able to delegate them. It's going to be amazing. If they are here to begin with, that's awesome. They don't have to be here. So if you have not defined the responsibilities for all your groups, totally fine, you'll be able to do that in the delegation planner. But I wanted to highlight that to you right here, right now, that these are directly tied. Now, with that said, let's jump into the delegation planner. So I'm going to pop over here to delegation. Okay. The first time you come to the delegation planner, I highly recommend watching this little video from Chris. It's a great overview of the delegation planner tool. For now, let's start planning. So the delegation planner is all about boards. We use these boards to do some planning and documentation of responsibilities and delegation of those responsibilities. So let's just say that here in the near future, I'm going to be hiring a brand new sales manager and I need to do a little bit of planning with my sales team there. So let's call this board sales team planning. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and click save. And that will create my board here where we can do our planning. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to add people and groups to this board. So over on the right hand side, I'm going to hit the plus sign. I've got group and people and I'm going to click on group first. Now, what we're seeing here are the very same groups that we saw a few moments ago on the groups page, right? They are all right there directly connected, like I said, okay? But I'm going to look for my specifically for my sales groups, okay? So I've got sales and I've got my sales manager role group right there. I've got my sales rep role group. And let's say those are the two that I want to work with right now. Now, if I wanted to add a brand new group that didn't already exist, I could totally do that right here. Create group. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click on add groups. And what you're going to see is that those groups are now here. I've got the responsibilities that we have already documented on the groups page. They are showing through here. Okay. Again, you don't have to have done that already. You can create them very easily right here. I'll show you that in a few moments. But now I've got the groups that I want to be part of this planning. I have people that I want to be part of this planning as well. So I'm going to hit pl the plus sign here and click on people. And I'm going to go grab Boba. Boba is my sales rep. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab Boba right there. You'll notice that there is not a button here to add a new person. Okay, so if you want to use someone here in the delegation planner, you need to have already created their profile here in the manage users page of your account. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on add person. And now we've got Boba in here. And now we are basically ready to do our planning. So the first thing I want to do is I want to move things around a little bit. So the sales rep, that's we're going to be working with that with Boba. But the sales manager, that's what I'm hiring. I'm going to bring that all the way over here. Now I've got the flow that I want to look at here. Okay. Now notice that Boba right here has this sales rep group role assigned to him, right? Which one is this? It's this one right here. You'll see it's got five responsibilities that are these five right there. We can even look at them just like that. Same responsibilities. Now you'll notice that Boba has a couple of responsibilities here that he owns all to himself. Did you know that you can do that? Yeah, let me show you how. You can do that in a person's profile. Now you can get there very easily by clicking on the avatar right here. And you can see groups of responsibilities. You can see that beneath that there are other responsibilities. So this is a place where you can add those unique responsibilities that only that one person owns right there. And again, those are going to come back over to us in the delegation planner. That's why these are right here. Okay. So now let's start to flesh these out a little bit. We can certainly add additional responsibilities just like that. 
okay? But let's go ahead and click into one that's already there and start fleshing this out a little bit more. So I'm gonna click on Conduct Prospecting Campaigns. And the very first thing you're gonna see here is we can add a time commitment. How long does this take Boba to do? I might actually involve him in this process. Hey Boba, how long does it take you to conduct prospecting campaigns? And he lets me know it takes him, oh, about five hours per month. There's some clarity that I may or may not have had already. That's great, okay? Down below, we've got responsibility description. What do we have here? Well, we can provide a little bit more detail about what this is all about. So maybe pop this in here. This includes this and this and this. Now, I'm not gonna go crazy here. I'm not going to document every little thing in here because we've got a much better way to do that. That's in your training subjects, right? But here, we're just providing that high-level overview. Now beneath that, I've got connected content. This is great because we're gonna be able to connect this responsibility to content that already exists in Trainal. The way you're gonna do that is you're going to get the URL, the permalink for a specific subject, topic, or step, and you're going to pop that link right there and that will allow you to connect it to that responsibility, okay? Now on the top right, what are all these colors about? Well, this is where we can actually start to provide some more detail about Boba and how he relates to this specific responsibility, conduct prospecting campaigns. So let's we go, we've got skill. What is Boba's skill level? He is an ace at this. So I'm gonna get, pop him over here to a five, five out of five. But maybe his passion is, you know, like, eh, not like that passionate. Maybe that's a three right there. But the business impact is massive. This is super huge. We're gonna bring this all the way up to a five right there, okay? But maybe for his career alignment, maybe it's not exactly where he wants to go with his career with us here. So I can maybe put, put that at a two. And now I've got this visual of Boba's rating for this specific responsibility, okay? Now, this is not a micromanaging thing. This is just kind of like a clarity thing. This type of information helps you to maybe start doing some forecasting. Maybe we need to realign things. Maybe we need to have a better view of how these responsibilities are being done across the team. So now we've fleshed out this responsibility. Let's go ahead and hit save changes. And now we've documented that responsibility even further and we can see it right here. We can see the time estimate and we can also see the ratings for Boba. I can even click on it right there and get the full detail. Pretty cool, right? Now let's take a look at this manage sales reporting responsibility. Up to this point, Boba has been doing this, but I'm hiring a brand new sales manager and I want them to take this on. So to delegate it, all I gotta do is drag and drop. Boom, delegation. That responsibility is now on the role of the sales manager. Yes. Right? All right, now we've got this all done. Let's say we've completely fleshed this out. We are ready for all this to go into play in our account. All we've got to do is click apply to account. Once we've done that, everything goes into motion, everything is saved, and you have just delegated responsibilities and made your business more efficient. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Now, if you really want to master Trainial, check out Trainial University in the link below.